Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. We have a very exciting video for you guys today. In today's video, we are about to go toy hunting. We are definitely going to be hitting up a Target, Walmart, all that good spots. All that good spots. That didn't even make sense. We're, go we're going to hit up the good spots, the regular spots, maybe even something extra. We'll see along the way. You got anything, anything to add to that, McKenna? No, we're just gonna have fun and drive around. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe find Paul Bear. Maybe. I hope we find Paul Bear. Oh, uh, you, you guys have no idea how long we've been looking for this Paul Bear like crazy, asking every Walmart employee. It, it's been insane, but who knows? Maybe we'll find something. Maybe we won't. But either way, it's gonna be a toy hunt video for the beautiful people. So follow us for the ride. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our first stop, Target. Not sure what we are expecting to find, but maybe we will find something. So we will see you inside. All right, we are in the WWE aisle, and look what we found. We found the new WrestleMania Elite Series. We were going through it, and there's only one missing, and that would be Pat McAfee. So it doesn't really matter. I really just wanted the Trish Stratus from this series, so I found her, and I'm happy with this. But if you get them all, of course, you could build a Nicholas. I know his uh, dad, the referee, is going to be in the build a figure line real soon, so that's coming up. Then we got The Rock. I don't know about that face skin. That kind of looks bad. What do you think, McKenna? What do you think about that rock face skin? Yeah, it looks like him, but it is a little off. But yeah, comes with the WWE champion, so not bad. And then we have Super Cena right here. Can't go wrong with any John Cena's. Don't need it because it's... Well, I guess it's kind of a flashback now, but uh, you, you guys know the flashbacks that I collect. So, but yeah, John Cena. Like I said, here. Pat's the only one not here, which really don't care. And then we have top picks right here. Wait. Okay, yeah, I, ju I was just saying, is that the same John Cena? But no, they're different. Okay, and that is the top picks line. We have Roman and Rollins. We got the Rollins right here. Little Dusty Rhodes action going on. That DDP is still here. What? That's from Pamasa, right? When you face Cody and Cody had these. Yeah. Chest. Yeah, we have DDP and then the Hogan's from the Legend line, which this Hogan is still so beautiful. And the packaging, I love this packaging. And then there's the... Wait, we didn't show the Roman yet. I'm slow. <laughs> didn't show the Roman yet, but there's the Roman. Kind of cool. Don't need it. And we got the Warrior. We already got this, but this one's messed up. It's real messed up. Um, and then we got a random Tamina. And we got these AEW figures right here. Thunder Rosa, Adam Page. And then we got McKenna. She found one in the clearance. It's in clearance, but we're not sure if it is clearance yet. We're going to go check out because Darby is one of my only really favorite AEW superstar. So. Yeah, and she she tried to scan it on the app and it's not working in even the Let's price check it. over there. And it's not working either. So not sure what's going on, but she's Free. we're going to go check. But right now we are walking out with Trish and maybe Darby. So let's go over there. All right, guys, I really just want to record in this Walmart just to complain, really, because me and McKenna have been coming to this Walmart for months and months and months. And the only elite we ever saw here was a Mae Young and a, uh, I think it was a Mick Foley elite. I forget what series Commissioner he was in. McFoley. Commissioner Mick Foley. And they have not had elites since. All they get is basics. And that is it. Of course, they have these old Ultimate Editions, Bret Hart and Triple H. But for some reason, they never, never get elites and i don't understand it like this is the smallest wwe section ever I'm, I'm, i must say that this is the newest thing they have gotten here and like i said months is this battle pack and for, uh, something i learned the other day shopping on ebay this roman reigns and logan paul pack is actually a little bit expensive i'm assuming just because there's a logan paul figure but i saw people bidding and it was going for like 50 60 dollars i had no idea that but this walmart needs to get their stuff together because i just want elites i mean look they have the tags for elites, but they just don't put them out. Like, where is my elite Paul Bear? That's all I want. That's my that's my rant. I'm done. I hate this Walmart. I'm never coming back. All right, guys, this is an unexpected stop. We weren't planning on doing this originally for the Toy Hunt video, but we came down here and we decided to go. We are going to Power Comic and Toys. We came in here probably about a month back. We, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got a whole lot of WWE figures. We didn't film it, but here's the beginning of it i'm hoping they put you know some more wwe up because like i said we we pretty much cleared them out but i'll show you guys when we get inside 
All right, guys, here is the WWE section. This is obviously my favorite part of the whole place. And what's even even funnier, the WWE is right next to McKenna's favorite thing in the world, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So coincidence, I think not. But let me just tell you guys, this store, this store, this store, just, just, it's the most beautiful store, like, in existence, but, the, yeah, I mean, like, like, look at this stuff, this is just one of the cases in here, guys, I know this has nothing to do with WWE, but it's, it's a very impressive, beautiful store, and they just have such amazing stuff, and we, they actually had a different location, you know, further, not further, closer to where we live, this one's a little further, but it's much more massive, and they have a million more different things, so I'm very glad they moved, and it's very worth the trip, and they added a whole bunch of stuff since we were last here, and we already found stuff that we're going home with. If you want to show what you're going home with, she's getting Buffy the Vampire, uh, Giles' car, and Angel's car from Johnny Light. And she found a whole bunch of other Harley Quinn stuff, because if you don't know, she collects a bunch of Harley Quinn stuff as well. But let's just get into it. What we are definitely picking up, what I'm definitely picking up, we're going to start with first, is the Scott Hall Legends figure. This is Series 11 RIP Scott Hall. And guys, check out the price. $35. This is m much cheaper than it is going for on eBay. That's another thing about the store, guys. They are very much cheaper than eBay, and that's why we are definitely coming back here more often because they're great employees and just great prices and just an amazing store. Next up, we have an, a Series 11 same series as the scott hall the macho man randy savage if you do not know he's the chase in this um series but this is the a regular not the chase but still i mean 35 again cheaper than ebay so we are going home with that and then we I, this is one that came out at the end of my collecting the undertaker so i never did own this but i know they are re-releasing it I don't think I'm going to pick this one up today because I do want to come back here because they, they just always have new stuff apparently, but 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 we're going to leave it. And then we got the RVD, which is just a beautiful, beautiful Ultimate Edition figure, but I already own that, so we're going to leave that behind. And then they also have the Rey Mysterio, which we do own this one as well. Another beautiful Ultimate Edition figure. This one, however, is pretty damaged. We already have it, so it doesn't really matter. And then we have the brock lesnar right there looking beautiful as well we have the brett the hitman heart ultimate edition which we actually picked up the other day at walmart um i don't think we filmed that did we I'm not, I, don't think we did. I, I don't think we filmed it but we did pick that one up the other day they ha also have becky lynch if you guys remember the this one right here was a walgreens exclusive uh, who, who else remembers the Walgreens exclusive? They had a, they did Triple H to Shawn Michaels. They had a bunch of women figures, and then we have a Bianca Belair elite down there. We have a really cool classic superstars Ric Flair right here with the beautiful green robe, world heavyweight champion. I mean, that's just amazing. And then we have uh, Brody Lee. We have a UFC figure down there. I just want to get to the back where the Jax is, and we have The Rock back there. That, put these back real quick because no we are not done we have more AEW figures we have rio we have let's get get this which i thought was amazing they have series one this was series one for Jericho. Wow. so that is really oh really gosh, cool they've come out with a lot they have miro which is really cool and then we have frankie kazarian and then we have matt jackson and then that's actually behind it a gamestop exclusive uh kenny omega so that's cool to see I guess. Oh, let's put that back. But yeah, just this is just one section, guys. They, like I showed you, like going around, they have a million different things. But we mainly came for the WWE. They we mainly came for me, even though she's going home with stuff. So we got a nice, nice pile we're going home with. So that's nice. All right, guys, that is it for the toy hunt video. A lot. A lot better than I expected. Number one, Target was not expecting to find the WrestleMania series at all. That was a complete shock. I know people have been finding it, but I, I had zero expectations going into Target. I was just like, well, part of a toy hunt video, that is it. But we found we found what we were looking for at Target, Walmart. <sighs> no Paul Bearer. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Really want the regular and really want the Chase, especially the Chase. I mean, even the regular one is selling for a ridiculous amount on eBay, so... Maybe we will eventually find it. I really hope so. I know only one Walmart in my area has gotten that series so far, and that's because a friend of mine that lives here actually has found it. Um, and then hit up, uh, you know, the Power Comic Store, and we were able to find some older Legends figures, which I was very pleased with. I mean, 
better prices than eBay, walked out with some good figures. So overall, a really good toy hunt. McKenna was a part of it, so you can't go wrong when a McKenna is a part of the toy hunt videos. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are a new viewer, please subscribe for more. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you guys next time.